It's been an entire year of playing with myself! Yay! Yeah, okay, it's been a really weird series, and I've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, but I really wanted to sit back and just talk with you guys about this, now that it's actually been a whole year of doing these. So, I've always loved making review videos, and this has been a thing ever since back in the 2000s, when I was in early high school. I was making videos on my old channel, Ocarina Hero 10. Yeah, old uh, accounts were kind of weird like that. We would make up names where we'd be like, Oh, this is a video game thing. Guitar Hero was big at the time. I didn't even care about it. I've never even made a single video where I talked about Guitar Hero. And then Ocarina of Time, a video I never even got to make. There you go. And then 10 because, I don't know, numbers, man. It, Dude, who cares? I don't know. Everything was just made up back then. But anyway, it was like a comedy series. It was supposed to be like funnier versions of what reviews were, except for games that people really knew and were familiar with. Um, so it's something that never quite worked with that. And I had a lot of like trolls on the channel. It was YouTube was a different place then. It still got a lot of bad people now, but th th it was just different then. It was practically MySpace. So eventually, I brought these back on Hamster Bomb long time later and eventually uh, started up another review series and I called it Let's Be Honest. I never felt right about Let's Be Honest and the reason was um, it was actually more of like a very serious thing and I was trying to cover serious topics and um, there were, I mean the episodes I did make I was like I feel like I really needed to make these and I feel like I had to you know just lay all this stuff out. Um, eventually I feel like I could put them into playing with myself episodes but from where they were, I was like, something just doesn't feel right about them, they're just too serious, and then of course the comments are just all, you know, the serious, analytical, critical stuff, and I'm like, this is not fun to make, you know? There's just nothing there. Um, speaking of, uh, let's be honest, um, the next episode that I was gonna make, uh, before I stopped working on them, I had a whole script ready for it. Um, I actually repurposed one of its scripts for a Monster Hunter PS2 episode, uh, but the weird oddball one that turned into a, let's be honest, was ranking all of the Pokemon generations, and I did that to try and get around covering all of them really quickly, so I didn't feel like I had to incorporate all the Pokemon generations in, because we technically only did one this year, uh, X and Y, and um, I, I ended up doing the Pokemon opinions of the designs themselves, because that would never fit into a normal episode. Um, so, that was weird, and I kind of incorporated the generations in. I will still go back and do those, but there's so many other things I want to do in the meantime. But anyway, I, I felt like the seriousness of it was, like, just too intense and there was just no jokes, there's no comedy, there's no fun to it. And I needed to somehow like meet with the crazy what Ocarina Hero 10 videos were and what the seriousness of Let's Be Honest was. Because there's things I wanted to say in reviews, I do. And then there's like, I just want to make stupid videos at the same time. So I can't just do both until I was like, okay, hold on, I gotta find some way to actually like combine these together. And of course to do that I knew that I would have to give up on doing daily videos. And daily videos were something I had been doing for about a decade on this channel. And um, I am very anal about doing things like on particular days and having everything like perfect set up. I'm, I'm very OCD with things like that. So it, I, I even had a whiteboard and you can check in lots of my older videos. I had a whiteboard replacing where my whiteboard art now is and it was basically just a giant calendar and I would map out like four months in advance, sometimes farther, of scheduling videos and trying to make sure that everything was fitting a pattern, scheduling like these videos go up on these days and these go on these days. And throwing that away freaked me out. But at the very least I knew that it was gonna happen at the start of this year, 2020, so I was like, okay, I feel like I can, I can safely do this, so it kind of helped move me into it, and uh, playing with myself has also been on its own schedule, so I'm kind of trying to back off and freaking out so much about making sure my schedules are all the same. But I knew it was the right thing to do because I was going to be doing the kind of videos that I really wanted to do from the start, and it's the kind of stuff that I really, really enjoy doing. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of extra work, and th th that's a big thing here, because I had to drop a daily video schedule to do a weekly video schedule, and that one, I'm still barely churning out sometimes. Some weeks are a lot harder than others to get them finished. And another thing that's really big is I knowingly and intentionally kind of sabotaged my own channel with this. Um, my channel was doing really well, getting like 
I'm gonna say like 10,000 views per video each day as they're popping up. Um, new ones, I'm talking. Like old ones, of course, they, they'd they also accumulate, do really well too. Um, and it was mostly certain franchises, like um, doing the newest Monster Hunter and mostly Pokemon stuff was really big. And um, I mean, I've kind of fallen out from both of those series. And um, I just wanted to try new stuff. And I'm still playing Monster Hunter, uh, but the thing is there's so many new things I wanted to play and new things I wanted to try and that's just who I am. And um, so this year felt like it was finally right for me. Like this is, I'm loving doing this where like I'm getting to do review videos and every week I get to do something totally different. And um, I'll even intentionally jump episodes where I'm like, now I don't even want to do that console anymore. This one's going to be totally different. That was owned by this company. Now I want this. That was an RPG. This next one can't be. And I'm just trying to keep be, keep it always changing. And that makes it really fun. And then between those, I'm trying to do live streams. And I've had lots of indie developers and smaller game devs just send me their content so that I can play it and show it off on the channel. So I'm always playing new stuff and then reviewing new stuff. I've never played so much on my channel and had so few videos come out for it. So I feel like this has been a huge success in terms of re you know, like changing what I wanted to do on the channel into making what I want and I'm having a lot more fun. I do know that I've kind of sabotaged it, chopped my views substantially. Um, and you know, I never did this for the attention or money or any of that stuff. So that's fine. Though, um, I am dirt poor, so it would have sure helped to do what I love, you know, and actually made something for it. Um, but now, and has it always been, um, anything that this channel makes just goes right back into it, buying computer parts, new games, and there's always, there's so many things you gotta buy and keep up on and subscriptions and things like that, just to make sure that this keeps happening. So, it's a lot of work, and, um, I, I know I kinda hurt it myself, but it was just so that I knew I was making better stuff because I don't want to fake making content. I don't want to pretend that I'm enjoying stuff and I'm not. There's so many, so many people out there that do that and I, it's just scummy and I don't want to be like that. So anyway, I decided to risk it all on a new review series that I was going to start, which I, I had made one before, like I said, with Let's Be Honest and it, I really didn't feel like it was working out as well. Um, View-wise, maybe it is better by now, I have no idea. There's some random episodes of playing with myself that do well, but for the most part, playing with myself, view-wise, does not do well. I just love it. And on top of that, I, this is another weird thing, this is gonna sound super strange, but I wanted to particularly make review videos where, and I hadn't done this before, I actually, um, gave them ranked scores. And it's because I secretly hate ranked scores. I find them stupid. I find them pointless. I find that no matter what, the person who made it, if you talk to them, you could probably convince them to either add or remove, like say if it's on a 10 point scale, like two points above or below based on how they're feeling. And that's what feels really messed up about ranked scores, because it's always that. And, you're, you, and a lot of people will skip to the end of review, review videos and go like, oh, well, he gave it a seven. It must be okay. And then if you're apparently on different companies, sevens mean different things, but that's a whole other problem. But they, the, everyone who's reviewing these things seem to have different standards and opinions and it never gets to like, you, you pretend like this number is an answer and it's not. So I really wanted to make a series where the whole point is showing off how there's two different versions of myself who are arguing it out over basically numbers that don't matter. And it's just this big dichotomy of nothing really mattering except the talking about the game. And that's the meat of the video. And it's actually the end. That doesn't matter. Those are just numbers. And then we just say like a brief thing about it of why like it kind of deserves that general number. So uh, I'm about to blow your mind here. There's actually not two me's physically. I can turn the camera and there's 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 nobody over there. By the way, yeah, I'm about to do the Super Metroid video um, as I'm recording this right now. So that, that now you know timeline of when I have to do stuff like this. Um, but the thing is, Bomb, the, the positive gamer, is actually just representing the casual player who is looking to just enjoy video games and have fun with them because we all kind of feel like that say like you're really excited about some new game coming out of a franchise you like and maybe it's just all right maybe it's just 
average in the end though but you wanted to have fun with it so you're gonna have more fun with it and you're gonna you're gonna see all the great stuff in it and you're gonna be like oh it's so good and you're naturally gonna overlook stuff you're like eh, it's not that great but you know whatever but and, and, and that is something that's really important in reviewing stuff because we all have that fan side of us that really wants to enjoy what we're doing and just has fun with it and then there is Hamster, the critical gamer, who is more of the stickler who kind of gets hung up in like finding faults in things and kind of does it to the extent where it's belittling the enjoyment that he actually gets out of games. And generally, Hamster, all the critical side, scores lower than the positive side, as you would think. Um, though, it has happened a couple times where the positive side was actually lower than the critical side, so um, it, it, I want to make sure that that's a thing that people understand. It's not like, oh, well, you basically just take your positive score and dock it a bit, and that's your critical score. It, it's never how it works. Um, I want to make sure that it's, this is seriously, like, this is, like, it's almost like a left and a right brain hemisphere kind of thing, because we've all got these two sides to us. The sides, like, say, like, the, uh, maybe, like, the, the math side of the brain just wants to, like, analyze things and understand, well, well this is this and this is that, and, and they're like, well, that's not so great because that's a thing, and I've seen this and other things, and it's not so good. And then there's, like, you know, the, the artsy, creative side. You're like, oh, but this is so cool. I love that. That's great. And they're both part of the same thing, the same brain. So, in the end, we are like two people put together in one, and trying to give something one score, one opinion, is just never fair. Now, after an entire year, the two sides have rarely agreed on anything, and that was kind of the entire point. So, like, this hidden meaning of the whole review series that I was working towards is that reviews are stupid! I'm cryptically giving you two scores for a reason. It doesn't make any sense. And, and, and the thing is, both of them are right. Both of them are how I feel. They, I am not like faking any of this, as I mentioned before. It's just the positive side, that's how I feel. The critical side, that's how I feel. That's two scores. It doesn't make any sense. It's not supposed to make any sense. You're playing a game with yourself and you're seeing two different sides of the same thing and they're both you and they're both right but neither makes sense. And another thing, I don't do any of that IGN crap where like a five isn't average, but like a seven is average. That's, that's so stupid, I don't even need to get into it. I passed third grade math, unfortunately the people at IGN didn't. Anyhow, now with a year's worth of these YouTube videos and YouTube, the algorithm still holding me back, actually, I don't know, showing my videos to people, that'd be nice. Let's look back and take a look at these things because I started out in the early ones, just kind of picking like random stuff off the shelf, like, huh, that'd be fun, or that'd make a good video, or just asking friends of mine, like, what do you think would work? I don't know what to do next week, and uh, boom, um, I'm doing Last Story. And uh, things like that, that was working from week to week, but now I have such a long list of games that I want to cover, and co games that have been given to me by you guys asking me to cover, and I'm just trying to figure out in what order desperately like do I, why can't I hold all these lemons? I'm just trying to put them in the order that I know that it's like maybe it's the most relevant or maybe I, I really got to get back to this series or there's so many factors and I'm jumping around but like I said between different consoles and game series and oh it's it's so much. <laughs> and also for your guys' benefit I am linking down in the description a uh, an Excel sheet, a uh, Google sheet technically, document where you can see my video game resume. I actually made a whole video on this. I have been updating the thing throughout the years, and honestly, there is so much more in this than I was in the video as I covered it, just because the video inevitably is gonna come outdated, and the video is long as it is. So honestly, you can just jump to certain yeah, platforms, and then look through the games that I've played, see how much I've played of them, and just see, like, is that something that would be really good to see, you know, as a video or something that you'd want? Because obviously doing recommendations of uh, games that I haven't played, probably not a good idea. I'm also putting the links for Patreon down in the comments as well. So if you use Patreon, as I say at the end of every video, you can nominate other videos that go into this pile, and the more votes that they end up getting, or the more I'm hearing of them from the Patreon patrons, then I know this I really gotta push up and make sure that this is something that comes out really soon. So if it's up to me to pick the games, mostly I'm looking for stuff that 
gives both sides of hamster and bomb ammo to, you know, make solid points about the game and then jokes about it or just like really enjoying things and hating things. Those I think seem to make the best episodes. And there's few of these where I'm gonna like say absolutely for sure we need to do this on this day, but starting off next year, basically the episode one of the year, if you wanna put it like that, I feel like has to be what was supposed to be my episode one for playing with myself, and that is Horizon Zero Dawn. I actually played through the game, and though other games at the time were also giving me ideas for this series, this one in particular made me feel so conflicted. Half of me was like, this is great, I love this, it reminds me of so many games I love. And then the other side's like, this game is garbage! It is, t it's ripping off things of games I love, and it's doing them dirty! And I'm like, so torn. And I thought, I feel like I need to make a whole show where I'm just fighting with myself, arguing over something, and, and in the end, nothing happens. I've even had a couple videos where the scores are straight up opposite. And you're like, well, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just feel that way when you're playing a game, and it's really hard to describe that feeling, and I feel like in this series, it's all about that feeling because that's all you really get. It's just the same person fighting over silly things that are really just to determine how they feel about something collectively and they never get along, but it's the same person. So it, I don't know, it's really strange. I feel like some episodes script wise kind of worked with that a little bit better. Sometimes I can tell I'm kind of falling into a, a trap where I'm writing the script and I need to say something really lengthy and Bomb says one half, Hamster says the other half, and they kind of trade off and just explain the same thing. That I, I know I'm kind of cheating. It's, it's so much better when it's simpler and I can just make them argue about the thing. But of course, inevitably, there's some very complicated games or plots in particular where it's really hard to keep up with all that. So uh, this year, we have covered a lot of games with a new video every single Friday. That was hard. I'm the only one doing this. <laughs> it's really hard. I do occasionally get some help from Kim. She'll, uh, she has been in a couple episodes now. She's also done some of the whiteboard arts, um, but that's basically it. Um, I have a couple friends of mine who I all run ideas by of like, uh, you know, can you think of any problems with this game? Or like, oh God, can you even redeem this one? Like, uh, what do I do? And I mean, other than that, it's mostly just all me the whole time and I'm, Oh, I'm always so swamped with so many things going on, and I know I say it a lot, but this year was really hard, and I know it was hard for everybody, for obvious reasons that YouTube will not let me talk about, or else they'll demonetize my video and or take it down. Thanks, YouTube. That's awesome. Let's not talk about the problems that are taking over the planet right now. Um, but aside from all that stuff, alongside probably a lot of you, um, I lost my job at the top of this year and had to get another. Um, the new one, honestly, I feel really unsafe with it, um, but it's something I feel like I've just got to do. I just have to. Um, but yeah, it's working in a retail environment with lots of, lots of horrible people. Um, not co-workers. My co-workers are great, actually. It's, it's, gosh, it's the customers. It is straight up the customers. If you work in retail, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I've done it before, but I can't believe I had to go back to it. It's, it's, it's honestly really humiliating. Um, because I was doing, I was teaching, I was doing a bunch of, what I, you know, stuff that's in my degree field. No, it, it just really hurts. Um, so also this year, um, I found out that I had and was officially diagnosed with autism. Um, that was really out of left field. Um, never expected something like that. And honestly, it's, it's really weird. Um, just trying to get over all of that and still keep up my videos as if nothing is wrong, I'm fine! I just keep making more dumb videos, which honestly, it really helps, you know, distract me from all the strange stuff that's been going on lately. Um, and ironically, um, uh, hopefully this isn't much of a spoiler, um, I'll try and keep it very brief, um, but I actually got my diagnosis for uh, the autism on the same day that I happened to stream to the moon. And there is some um, correlation there. I'm not gonna explain it, obviously. I don't wanna ruin that game. It's, it's a beautiful game. And the thing is, um, th that, j it's just like, what are the odds? <laughs> it's so weird. Um, so there's a lot of other stuff that has been going on too. I, I mean, I'm still getting help for depression, anxiety, OCD. There's so many things and you know, it's, it's, it's always a pain, and it has nothing to do with it just being this year, because I know a lot of people are um, depressed or anxious this year, 
I've always been like this. And the thing is, I was just this year, because of suspecting the autism, was finally basically drug kicking and screaming into a psychiatrist's office, into various doctors, and it, it, it's been a, it's been a whole thing. It has not been fun. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that eventually, um, at least my close family and friends will be able to help me through it and figure out what I've got to do, you know, for solving this. But, um, I know it's a thing that a lot of you guys have also been dealing with, and whenever I bring it up, a lot of people just seem to, like, come out of the woodwork, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I didn't even know they were there! And they're, they're telling me about their own stories that are so similar, and I feel, I feel so alone in the problems I have, that, and I mention it on the channel, all of a sudden, you guys are there for me, and I, I really appreciate that. But it's not all crappy news, I swear, because this year we also found out that we're having a baby. I don't want to show anything about that on YouTube because YouTube, it, like, hates kids. Anything about kids, they're like, no, take it down. So, um, sorry about that. But, um, anyway, um, we're having a baby girl. She'll be due in late January, in case you haven't heard. We're very excited, and obviously that's going to mess with my schedule next year. Like, intensely. I have no idea what next year is going to be like. Um, I just know I am going to work my hardest and make absolutely sure I can still get those, because, like, I know you'll all say, like, Alex, it's not that big a deal, you can, you can just take your time, you need to, you know, stay with the baby, or, you know, help Kim, and... It's, it's, maybe this is the OCD thing again, but I'm like, I cannot break that schedule. I will feel so bad. I would rather put out bad content on the Fridays than miss the Friday, and that is probably worse. <laughs> so, um, talk me out of that, but at the same time, I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I can get it to happen every Friday next year. Um, if I have to compromise something, unfortunately, it might have to be live streaming, because that might be the hardest thing to do with the baby. If you know I mean, like, I can't just, like, go to and from the camera live dealing with you know a baby and then coming back and I can't be as loud as I normally am I'm not gonna be able to do this anymore <laughs> but anyway uh, wrapping up this year um so I, I played more games this year though than any other year which is crazy because I was cutting out all of my episodes and instead doing streams and reviews instead so like I mean I, I really enjoyed that like I got to do so much more and at the same time, like, I, it didn't cost me nearly as much time because making episodes, oh my gosh, it is so much work. And f getting all of them up on YouTube and scheduling the darn things, uh, God, in every single, uh, there's so much work. There's so much that goes into it. I don't even want to describe it right now because I'm so glad I don't have to do most of it anymore. But even still with the playing myself, I just have to do some, but still it's, it's so much better not doing those. And I got to play so much more and it's so great. And honestly, like this year, I also took a break from Pokemon and um, I don't think I've had a year where I've had so much fun with playing new games than this one. So sayonara, Pokemon. I, I really don't feel bad about that one at all. If anything, uh, that's a whole other video I want to shelve for later talking about how I feel about Pokemon. But still, um, honestly, like I feel like we got to do so much more this year because of cutting episodes. So I feel like it was a great improvement in terms of like what I wanted to do for the channel. I really want to hear what you guys think about that, so let me know. Other questions! I really want to know what was your favorite episode of playing with myself this year and why? I want to make sure that I'm implementing the things that you liked about them the most into new episodes. I want to know like, you know, when you went through them or like certain, uh, not just like which game because you like the game, but like which episode do you think was your absolute favorite? I, I really want to know so I can obviously like try and make better videos for you guys and like know what kind of style things you really like or uh, maybe like certain scenarios that happen if like it's a certain type of game where they both war with each other better or trying to justify giving something nearly a perfect score or the opposite where I hate something. Um, so just let me know. And to open up the question to everybody, because I do want to hear what you all think, and also, this does give the Patreon guys some ideas. If you, even if you're not a Patreon member, could recommend one video that absolutely has to happen next year, what is it? What is that game? What is it and why does it need to be done? I really want to know. And also, it's just going to be putting the ideas in the Patreon members' heads. So as I've said, this has been a really hard year for a lot of us. Um, but the thing is, the only thing that has been keeping this channel afloat, and I really mean that, is the Patreon members. If it weren't for Patreon, this channel would probably have stopped a long time ago. 
I probably would still be trying to uh, write scripts for stuff, just wishing I could do this more, but probably just inevitably working on other projects, like my graphic novel, which I haven't gotten to do in a long time! But because of that, I've actually got fun so I can sit down and work on making videos because there's a lot that goes into it, like I said. And it, it means so much, especially this year where I'm able to keep making things. Where the Patreon members straight up kept this whole fiasco going. So thank them in the comments if you see any of those guys. I thank them every single video I do playing with myself for a reason. And just saying, you can actually help out the channel for as little as $1! One freaking dollar a month, please! It's it's just enough so that you can still get into those rooms in the Discord and talk and like recommend videos and that's basically where these requests are coming from. So if there's something that you really want to see done, just bring it up. Let me know. And I'll always always show you guys like, hey, these are the next like five or so that I think we should do. In what order do you think we should do them? Or which one's the most important? I bring those up and those are what the Patreon members uh, decide for us. So if you'd consider doing that, it would really mean a lot to me and everybody else in the community that really wants to keep seeing these videos coming. So, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate you for being here, watching a silly video like this, where basically I'm just wrapping up what had happened this year, because it has been a crazy year for a lot of us, and a lot of the big, big problems and things haven't gone away. Uh, for me, some of them are just not going to go away. I'm not talking about the baby, I'm talking about the diagnosis stuff there. <laughs> No, no, the baby needs to stay here, like, all the time, except not on camera, because YouTube hates kids. But anyway, I've had a blast, I've had some questions for you, so I want to see what you guys think of those things that I said before, down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. Here's to another year of playing with myself. <laughs> see you guys.